all right welcome back guys i've been seeing a lot of requests asking me on how i did this and um i've decided to you know put together a tutorial on how you can create um this um galaxy of um planet right here inside of photoshop is actually too easy it's not so complicated as you might be looking at it so let's just get into the tutorial and look at how to do something like this i'm here inside of photoshop um extended so the extended version of photoshop has 3d so make sure you are using the photoshop extended either cs6 or cc just make sure it has 3d and also make sure you have a dedicated graphic software so if i come over to my preference then performance you can see um my system is actually using um nvidia a graphics card so if your system has a dedicated graphics it's going to make this work a whole lot easier now also i'm going to put a link in the description box below where you can download the project file and these images i use in the project so i use this image and also this other one and some other things i use the link in the description box you will get the whole of them inside of the link okay uh let's just um drag this image inside of photoshop and drag the other one as well into another tab all right so we come over to this and um, let's double click on this one and quickly cut out this particular place i'm gonna press ctrl shift j just to send this to a new layer so you can see that then i want to use my move tool to move it all the way to this place holding down my shift key to snap to it now i'm having a little bit of space here the reason why i'm doing this is i'm actually going to use the 3d extrusion to extrude this particular shape in a spherical format and i don't want this to tile so i want it to maintain a regular pattern so i'm going to use the um i'm going to use the gradient tool with this layer selected so i'll use the gradient tool and uh, choose any of these maybe the one that has um um black to white so i can edit that just by reducing the opacity to zero then i want to make sure i'm working with linear and then i can click and drag holding down my shift to this place oops uh before we do that let's make sure we add a layer mask so we make sure our color is set to black and white so we can click and drag so you can see that will automatically feather that age and uh, just for you to understand what i've done so far if i should move this over to this place or let's say if i should um, take this part by using my my Q selection tool if I should take this part and drag it to this place uh, let me deselect that and match these two layers together so I will just come over to this place match layer so now if I should uh, make selection here and um, take this part to this place oops just make the selection okay just ctrl j and take this to this you can see the gap in between is closed it looks as if it's the same image so that's um a quick way of um tiling your image properly without any problem so if i should um let me show you that one more time make selection of this small part and press ctrl j then i can move it to this place you can see it will sync if i make another selection of this and ctrl j again and move it it will still um match up from that part which is the previous session and uh, not this one 
not this particular one so this will automatically sync to this so that's um, um, a quick um, note for you to take note of so what I'm going to do is to control click on this to select the area that is left then I want to go to edit and crop it so that I have just this part so I know that what is here is the same thing what is here is the same thing as what I have here so what I need to do now is to go to my 3d extrude or switch over to 3d over here then I want to pull out my 3d I'm gonna create a 3d from mesh preset sphere then click create so it will take a while then boom you can see we have the um, spherical act okay so we can rotate this to any corner of our choice to any side you can see the whole thing tile up properly as you may see it now there are some few changes we need to make here first of all we are gonna come over to because when we create a 3d layer like this under the 3d tab we have the infinite light that is controlling it i want to turn off the shadow of the infinite light and i'm also want to create one more infinite light inside of this that will brighten the scene okay so on this um i have infinite light the default then i have the one i created i also want to turn off the shadow of the second one then um the light and every other thing i will leave it to the default size and that will work out well so we can come back to the sphere and rotate it if we want to any you can see it, it ties up properly without any distortion okay so this is looking pretty good so we can just get it to the part where we want it now i want to make changes to this texture itself because we can do a lot of things with this texture let's open up the adjustment layer and let's start with the level to level up this texture in order to darken it a little bit okay then um we can make other adjustments to it uh what else can we add to it uh, let's add some hue and saturation as well bringing in those blue side okay just stacking it a little bit so by the time we press ctrl x to save this and return back to our uh, normal work the whole thing is going to update just like that okay so you can go ahead and make changes to it the way you want to make changes to it so i'll just rotate this until i get the parts that looks good okay i can leave it like that now there are other things you can add here uh we have the sphere material then you have the ability to add some things like the shininess so i can decide to reduce that the shininess or increase it so let me just put it around this we don't want this to reflect anything so we are bringing down the reflection the same thing with the roughness we can adjust that then the bumping we can actually add a bump maybe we can load a texture from our bump but um if we want to do that now it's actually gonna take a little bit of time to render and make the scene heavy but i'm gonna show you what you can do quickly you can make a copy of this then reduce the saturation and use it as your bump but we are gonna skip that part it's not really that necessary for now then um we are not doing anything like glass or light passing through a glass so we don't necessarily need refraction so basically uh, what we have in the scene now is gonna pretty much work out well for us so you can see this place that is having this darkness really make it more better for us to have um, a good result then we can also click on this light and reposition them just click on them like this then you can click and change their angle of display like this you can do that so we now have this light displaying in this okay so there are a lot of things you can adjust on this particular place but let's move on to how we can bring this in side of the planet itself so what i did was to just use my move tool and drag this oops 
I just come over to my layer, make sure nothing is selected, then drag this all the way to the planet. So it's gonna bring the large planet into the scene. Okay, so I will just move it up and scale it down. So I'll just click on this box, then drag in and out to scale it down until I get it right in the position where I want it. So you can see that very much easy to bring this inside of this place. I also want to double click on this to adjust it. Now the next thing I did was to start to colorize this to make it look the way I want it to look. First of all, I uh, added um, a color overlay and um, I changed the blending mode to color. You can see what that will turn that to. Then I choose a very nice um, color here. I think this blue is not too much because we are going to really reduce the opacity. So we can reduce the opacity of that. Okay, somewhere right there. Alright, by the time you get it the way you want it, you can make a copy of it. So I just made um, some few copy of these and move it around. So we just drag this. So I'll make another copy. But before we do that, let's change the color of this. I think this is more like the edge. Okay. So we make another copy. And move it somewhere here uh, so we reduce the size of this one a little bit uh, you can choose any position of yourself so let's go ahead and save this because this can easily crash any moment um, it happen a lot of time especially when you are working in so many things so I'll call this um, planet PSD and save so this other copy now i'm gonna change the color make it a little bit okay something like that is not bad so this is it um this is the other one so let's um make a copy of this as well and move it here so we have mercury which is very close to the sun so just make that smaller okay now for this because it's very close to the sun we are going to change the color overlay and something more warmish okay just play with these colors until you get what you want all right we click ok now this one here let's walk around with the color okay that's better so this is the eight and uh, for this one the edge itself i think we should reduce the opacity of this color okay then um for this one uh this is jupiter So we can make it um, can make it this color. Okay, we can bump up the opacity. Let's change the color, make it more reddish. Okay, somewhere there is good. All right, so we can start to get the remaining one. Um, what we can do is to make copy of this as well. So we'll move it aside. I'm gonna press Ctrl X to save. Then I'm gonna reduce the size. Okay, drag that a little bit. Now I want to rotate this. I'm gonna still rotate them all um, in order to change their pattern. So let's change this color. You can choose another color.
so i'm not gonna waste time trying to choose the color that will match you get the idea you should be able to choose um, a good color that will match what you're doing mm, let's go with purple but we'll reduce the opacity a little bit oh uh, let's go with something else okay we can just go with that you can also rename these layers okay just to know which planet is which but um i believe it's something you can do on your own i don't really have that time to rename it because once this video becomes too long it becomes boring for even you to watch it so we can just um increase this and make it to be reddish I think it's too much reduce that so one two three four five six we have like three more to go we we'll make a copy of this so we we'll move this all the way to this place and reduce the size okay so we change the color overlay so we'll make a copy I'm just doing this a little bit faster uh, since you get the idea I believe you'll be able to do um, the right thing a kind of oops so let's move this up to this point one two three four Okay, we'll bring this one down here. We'll change the color this time around. We use something bluish. Okay, that is good. We can move one over here, and this is Pluto. So we'll reduce the size very small. Small 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 okay we even we just increase this because pluto is very bluish so we can have we have um according to science they say we now have more than nine planets so you can put as many as possible uh i want to these two colors are looking same so let's work on one of them uh, i think this should be more more reddish kind of okay that's it good so by the time you overlay this um, planet spheres you can start to add some little bit of glow to them by coming over to this place and start adding some glow then I can pick some of these colors and you know click OK increase their spread and their size like that but i'm not gonna do that that's one way you can do it another thing i can do is to use my brush to add some glow to it in order to make it look good so that is more easier for me i'm gonna just create a layer press b on the keyboard right click and reset my brush so i'm going to pick this nice soft brush you can see what that is doing so i can add even multiple stars to this okay so let me increase the size so this is where i want to add my glow i'm going to pick this color because i want this to glow okay that's better then i want to pick this color so let me increase the size also okay, you can see that small just a little bit goes a long way so i'm gonna pick this so increase the brush size and click once you can see it's having some glow there so i'm also going to pick this whoa it's a little bit too much but we can work with that though so let's pick this color sample this green color and increase the size a little bit better so we'll sample this color and reduce the size i'm using the left and right coily brazier on your keyboard to reduce and increase the size of the brush 
so I'm going to do the same thing with this also the same thing with this all right for the Pluto I want to make it a little bit brighter so I'll sample that color and reduce the size okay you can see now I can make a copy of this by dragging it to the new um, layer icon then I want to save this work then I'll change the blending mode to um, screen sorry just come over here and change it to screen so it's gonna make the whole thing to be more brighter but I don't want it to be too intense so I want to reduce the opacity okay I want to the Pluto is too much so I'm pressing E on the keyboard to get rid of some of it I'm gonna choose a very soft brush okay that's good that's better so the glow actually make the whole scene to engage and interact more with the background and the whole thing will actually blend in more better but just like the original there are other things we need to add to it you can also add some inner glow but before i do that I want to rotate this face one after the other so I'm gonna just grab my rotation and you know change the position of this kind of by the way I'm holding down the shift key to do that so just hold on your shift key you can rotate this uh, so let's rotate this more then for the edge think we want to see that side let's just rotate it mm, yeah the water body is very important so. you can also use different textures to do this to simulate the different planet is up to you um, okay this is Pluto you can leave that it's very small it's not so noticeable so we are going to change this one okay let's change this as well all right better let's change this okay good we'll change this one all right now for the big guy I wanted to display this very side the down part then I want to move it back to its normal position it a little bit okay so now that we've changed them they now look uh, more better and more engaging in the scene so you can change their position to wherever you want to change their position to I'm gonna add a little bit of level adjustment to the major background in order to brighten things up okay let's bring out the mid tones here Okay, that's better um, now what we need to do is to create a new layer for us to actually add um, the other brush I use in the original one so I'm gonna just press B on the keyboard then um, reset my brush I'm gonna load these um, R0 Roman or Roman de Brunch. I don't know how to pronounce this, but just go ahead and load it. Uh, from there, you are going to pick this 2000. Um
Jump brush and you see when I click once it's gonna add some special effects special brush effects like this that right now where you can just go and download and um, I'll also include it in the project file also so I'm gonna just that is adding a whole lot of um, flair to what I'm doing then I want to it becomes brighter so I will change the blending mode to uh, let's use something very bright lighter color okay lighter color is is okay now we really want this to interact with what we are doing let's create a new layer press b on the keyboard of the same brush then we sample this color here so we go ahead and click once you can see um, click another one there so we do the same thing for the rest of the planet reduce the size very well so that this will actually interact with them okay so we sample this one okay so we sample the edge okay let's sample this other one so you get the idea of what I'm doing is just to actually make this thing to interact so reduce this size and add one more here so we sample this we sample this as well so finally we sample this small guy You can see that now I can make a copy of this layer to also brighten things up. Okay, so we change the blending mode to screen, make it more brighter, then we reduce the opacity. You can see it's pretty much easy. Now, the other thing I did was to create a new layer here, then grab my brush tool this time around. I'm going to reset the brush again. Then I will load these. Um, don't worry, I will put a link in the description where you can get this brush. So I will load a trans brush and take this 1958 brush. So before I click, I want to change this color to sample it to a very bright color here. So I'll just click inside of this place. So that will add something like a blast in that place. Then I want to mask it by applying a layer mask. Use the same brush to get rid of some parts. Okay. So that will actually make it more engaging. Now I want to create a new empty layer here. So I'll just create a new layer. Then grab my I'm going to reset the brush again. grab a very soft brush increase the size oops change this color to to a red color all right so just to engage that part in the scene you can see guys it's pretty much easy to design your own planet with ease and um, the whole thing will look very nice if you have any question leave it in the description box below don't forget to subscribe like and share this tutorial if you like it um, make your suggestion and recommendation thank you for watching see you next time